pivoting now. New York government uh, government officials are putting the pressure on pharmacies to sell the abortion pill within the state. We've been talking a lot about this. In a letter to CVS, Rite Aid, and Walgreens, Governor Kathy Hochul and Attorney General Letitia James have asked the chains to commit to selling the drugs. These pills are at a center of a national inquisition over accessibility. Abortion remains legal in the state of New York. So why the push to allow access to this pill? Joining me now is former New Jersey Superior Court Judge Andrew Napolitano. Uh, Judge Napolitano, thanks for being with us. Sure. Good morning, Marky. Good morning. Um, is New York putting businesses, and, and some that are even private, in the middle of what many view as a political debate? Your response there. I think the letter that uh, for which you extracted some excerpts and, and which you just showed, uh, showed on the screen, signed by Governor Hochul and Attorney General James was a political move on their part in order to allow them to say to their supporters, here's what we're doing to make sure, <clears throat> excuse me, that this drug is available for you. There's no threats in the letter. There's nothing uh, improper or unlawful in the letter. Uh, the drug is not now available in New York because the FDA has not yet given uh, Walgreens or anyone else uh, in New York permission to sell it. Uh, the response from Walgreens, as you know, is as soon as we get uh, approvals, we'll sell it. So I, I didn't view the letter as anything inappropriate. It is a little odd that the governor of a state and the attorney general uh, of a state would write to a drugstore chain saying we need you to sell this. But as long as there's no threat in there, if they don't sell it and there isn't one, there's no uh, there's nothing legally improper about the letter. If okay. you're pro-life. You don't, like, you don't like the letter. If you're pro-choice, you're glad that this uh, drug will soon be available. Sure. Well, let me ask you this then. Is this even constitutional? I mean, the, the government can tell pharmacies not to sell a certain medication, correct? But can they also tell them what not to sell or what to sell? Well, they can. Great question. They cannot. They cannot force Walgreens to sell this product. They could prevent Walgreens from selling the product if there's a health-based reason not to license the product. Now, that's not the situation. The situation here is that they want this sold. But Walgreens is uh, is free to sell whatever lawful product it wants or not to sell uh, any product. Uh, that doesn't appear as though it's going to be the case. If there were a threat in there, if Walgreens for some reason did not want to sell the product in New York, uh, then the, there's nothing the state can do about it. They'd have to go to another uh, uh, pharmacy chain. And just about a, a minute left, uh, one question I had to get in with you uh, before we went to break. What liability, if any, do pharmacies have if somebody crosses state lines in order to fill that abortion prescription? That is the $64,000 question, Marky, because it hasn't happened yet to the point where anyone's been prosecuted. And that's what Walgreens and other pharmacies are terrified about that someone from another state would get their hands on that drug, just walk into a New York City uh, drugstore, buy it, and then go to a state where it's illegal to use it, abort the baby there in a place where the abortion is a felony, uh, and then be subject to prosecution there, would there be any liability on the part of the pharmacy? In my opinion, no, but quite frankly, that's just an educated guess. It hasn't happened yet, and no judge has ruled on it yet. Prediction? There'll be many of these cases popping up very soon. Yeah, lots of moving parts to this story. Judge Andrew Napolitano, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.